Ready or not, here comes another round of snow, and we got some wind with this as well. There's actually two weather systems on this map, satellite radar. First system coming in from the southwest, a warmer system. That's why you're seeing some rain there. There's a cold front behind all that. And then another system, much colder, cold front dropping down through Montana around Great Falls. And both of these will basically collide right over east Idaho, western Wyoming. And we'll really see the wind pick up late tomorrow into tomorrow night. That's when the blowing and drifting conditions on the road will be the, at its worst. So if you're traveling at all tomorrow, you may want to avoid tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, because that's when it's just going to get even yeah, treacherous, more treacherous out there than what we're looking during the daytime. So here it comes right over the top of us. We may see the snow and the wind linger into early Friday morning after sunrise. So snow tracker showing some snow over East Idaho. Of course, we got rain over in the Magic Valley mixed in with a little bit of snow. That's that warmer storm that's settling in uh, over Boise that's headed our way. A lot of moisture with this. And so the two systems will collide and we'll get some significant snowfall for all areas. Now, like I've said before, some areas will probably hardly get anything, maybe an inch. Well, other spots is not too far uh, nearby could see up to five inches of snow and you get up in the mountains above 6,500 feet anywhere from six to 12 inches. And I think that 12 inches probably likely we'll see that along the spine of the Tetons up into Yellowstone as well. So and we'll throw in those wind gusts anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour through the better part of late tomorrow night into early Friday morning. So white knuckle day if you have to travel, just take it slow and give yourself Lots of time. 29 is what we're looking at for low in Pocatello tonight. Snow will start to fall after midnight sometime then. Not much in the way of wind tonight. We can handle that, uh, thankfully. Won't get the wind tonight. So if you're traveling tonight, you'll have to just contend with the snow, which is sometimes worse enough. 31 for low in Idle Falls with snow showers. Uh, barely a breeze out of there. That north wind will also kick up a bit tomorrow. We're looking at breezy conditions. We could see wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour, especially in the afternoon evening. We'll top out at 36. From tonight through tomorrow evening, two to five inches of snow for Idaho Falls, two to five inches of snow for Pocatello tonight through tomorrow evening. It won't be quite as windy in the Gate City area. I think we'll get breezier in the late afternoon evening, but yeah, 35 degrees, snow on the ground, the roads are just going to be awful out there. So just be extra careful if you can. If you don't have to go anywhere, just stay put. 35 will be the high in Blackfoot. We're all going to be cooler tomorrow, below average for this time of year. We're looking at 33 in Sun Valley and Haley, and they're expecting snow there. So we got snow all over the place. Look at Travel Tracker tomorrow. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you go, for the most part, you're going to encounter snow and wind. You get just past Twin Falls, partly sunny day over in Boise with a high of 46 degrees. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Winter weather advisory tomorrow until 9 o'clock Friday morning. Chance of snow after sunrise and then it just gets cold. That's that second cold front that's dropping down through Montana right now that will push all the moisture out. And we get even colder with highs only in the 20s and a couple of nights in Idle Falls. We'll be down in the single digits next week. As if this week wasn't cold enough, it's going to be even more so as we wrap up the month of November. Rexburg, same deal. I think mostly cloudy is what you're looking at for Black Friday. Blackfoot seven-day forecast. There is a chance of snow showers Friday morning after sunrise. Certainly snow likely before sunrise. And then just cold. Won't even get above freezing for a few days. Teton area, winter weather advisory for the mountains around Jackson. And of course, the mountains above Afton could see some lingering snow showers Friday. Central mountains, it's all snow tomorrow, just colder. Temperature won't even get above freezing on Saturday with a low of nine degrees. Misty?